This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Srinivas Reddy. Uh, I'm the instructor for this NVMe 2.0 course. Uh, in this uh, quick overview session, we'll talk about uh, what are the contents that are being planned as part of NVMe 2.0 training. Uh, the course starts with understanding the basics of uh, uh, NVMe overview. Uh, what is the need for NVMe Express that is non-volatile memory express. Uh, we'd start off with the very fundamentals of the storage, like what is volatile and what is non-volatile memory. And uh, we'll try to understand the differences. And then we'll talk about uh, HDD and SSD. Uh, and how ssd memory is organized using the flash so so there we'll get into the basics of uh, flash memory and uh, we'll be talking about uh, the flash storage and we'll talk about the difference between nand and nor flash type of storage then we'll talk about how the flash memory is organized in terms of the blocks in terms of the pages and how uh, these block and page access is related to the program and the array cycle i mean that is important to understand uh, how NVMe actually works, how NVMe writes and reads into this flash storage. And then we'll be talking about a typical media structure. So where we'll be talking about the how media is uh, uh, divided into different partitions and what are the contents of the partition. Then we'll be talking about the master boot record sector and uh, we'll talk about uh, in a partition, what is a partition table and what are the partition table entries. Then uh, how these uh, files and directories are organized in a partition I mean, and how that information is conveyed to the system through FAT16, FAT32 or XFAT tables. Then we'll also talk about uh, how this, how the files are organized in terms of data clusters and sectors. Then we'll talk about logical block address uh, based addressing mechanism. So that's more about understanding a media structure uh, that should give the user perspective of uh, uh, what is logical block address and how is it related to the NVMe commands? All those things we'll talk about as part of this uh, lecture. And we'll then we'll be moving on to understand the storage architecture where we'll talk about NVMe Express topology. Uh, typically, I mean, how does an NVMe subsystem looks like? What are the different components, including NVMe controller, including the host buffer memory or device buffer memory? Uh, sorry, that is a controller buffer memory. And we'll talk about the microprocessors that are part of the SSD storage and how uh, it uh, interfaces with the flash storage. And then we'll talk about uh, the names concept of namespace and NVMe sets. Uh, uh, that is how the SSD is storaged into multiple logical partitions uh, as namespaces. And then we'll talk about NV different types of NVMe commands. That is the different admin commands and different IO access commands. So then we'll talk about uh, more deeply into admin command opcodes. I mean, how these admin commands are mapped to uh, the different opcodes. Then we'll be talking about uh, NVMe command queues. So there we'll talk about uh, different types of command queues. What is the submission uh, com completion queues? Uh, and uh, how these command queues are tracked through the tail and head pointers. And then we'll be talking about uh, different registers in the NVMe controllers. Uh, then We'll be talking more deep into the identify command. I mean, the different admin commands, more deep into the admin commands, identify command. And uh, when you perform identify commands, you get a data structure. So how to understand the data structure. Then uh, we'll be talking about a standard NVMe command flow. I mean, starting from the time where the host issues the command until the time that sub uh, completion command is issued for that uh, submission command. How, what is the flow involved and what is the significance of phase tag bit, all those things will be talking about. Then there are two ways in which uh, commands are processed. One is PRP and one is SGL. So we'll be talking about uh, both PRP and S, uh, SGL, physical region page and the scatter gather list based access mechanism. Uh, we'll also talk about NVMe set and then we'll topic, talk about command arbitration that is weighted round robin arbitration kind of. So different styles of arbitration that are used in NVMe. Then we'll be moving on to understand uh, the NVMe 2.0 updates. Uh, all, there are around uh, 10 plus updates that have been done in NVMe 2.0. We'll be talking about all those things. Uh, then we'll 
talk about nvme architecture the, we'll talk about different types of nvme controllers that is io controller and the administrative controller then we'll be talking about nvme q models that is uh, how does the memory based transport q model works uh, then we'll talk about generic command status definition and uh, then we'll talk about see whenever we issue a command we get a specific status so what is the command status uh, specific status definition there will it will have something called a status code how to analyze that status code and what are the different types of status codes that are possible we'll understand uh, then we'll be talking more deep into different uh, standard admin commands like identify command where we'll talk identify namespace identify controller and then we'll talk about abort command so then we'll talk about different commands for creating and deleting of the submission and completion queues uh, then we talk about asynchronous event request command then read command and namespace management command so all the important commands will be talking about as part of this uh, we'll also talk about the power management with respect to nvm express uh, we'll talk about autonomous power state transitions that is uh, in identified data structure there is something called power state description data structure we'll talk about that uh, course also includes uh, the concept of power loss protection when the I mean, uh, uh, sudden power loss happens how the, uh, the content that's being written or uh, returned to the nvme is handled uh, then we'll talk about the concept of host buff host memory buffer and controller memory buffer how the commands are placed into host memory or controller memory based on the configuration of the nvme controller uh, command and then we'll talk about sanitize command that runs in the background uh, NVMe also has one important feature called as RPMB that is replay protected memory block. So we'll talk about that as well. I mean, how does how do we protect the SSD devices from attacks where the user captures the commands issued by the uh, command issued by the host and replays them? So this replay protected memory block ensures that those kind of attacks can be avoided. Uh, then we'll be talking about one management interface in NVMe. Uh, where we'll talk in depth about the management interface, send and receive commands, out of band message transport, MCTP packet, in band tunneling mechanism, NVMe management interface messages. Uh, then we'll talk about streams, the directive send command and directive receive command. Um, we'll talk about uh, the end to end protection concepts like uh, DIX and uh, DIF. And uh, there also we'll talk about practice bit. Then we'll talk about right atomicity. I mean, how what is that NVMe has to uh, has the NVMe has a feature to take care of the right atomicity where multiple rights issued happens in a specific order without getting interleaved. So how NVMe implements those things. So all these aspects will be talking in detail as part of the NVMe training. So this is a, a quite a detailed course. Uh, covering all the aspects of uh, NVMe protocol uh, from a practical use case perspective. Um, and I hope uh, this has given a good overview of what is being planned, what is covered as part of the NVMe training.